Okay, guys, interesting one to trade. Excuse us off throat again. Um, okay, we're going to be ducking the one, two, two, one. Um, both the three ones, I can get them. Two, one, and one, three. And I'm going to be using 30 on that. So we want to bet. Okay, just the one to get matched. So keep your eye on it, just in case it don't get matched. You can always uh, can always dip in a bit later. Okay, and uh, match odds, pretty much. I'm just trying to scalp a bit of the. Uh, sorry, that's the under 2.5 goals. You want that up as well, because I'm hoping to lay that. Um, I've got 200 waiting to be get matched there. Uh, I'm just trying to scalp the draw. As I say, under two, under over. What I'm tr hoping is a tight game. Let's see, I think we just got matched on something. Let's have a look. Yeah, correct scores got matched. So yeah, we've got so we've got 30 pound dutched on there. And let's have a look. We've got it set up with us ready there. So 94 pound if uh, we. So we've got a thirty pounds stuck in there. Let's see how we go. Okay, we don't know how long we are to kick off? We're about six or seven minutes away. Uh, managed to get matched on there, so want to get two hundred back in there. And the idea with the match, scalping the draw, it covers us on the nil nils, one apiece, two apiece. And um, get up, get up this this up to us initial outlay on the. Uh, Scalp, that's uh, scalp, on the Dutch, which is £30. So if we can get this to £30 or a bit more, it covers us on the nil-nil if it stays there. And if it gets to be a really tight game and we're looking at one nils, we'll have to look at the scores, see if we could do anything there. Okay, um, as you can see, just in case of scalping, see what I can get. If I, if I don't get it uh, pre kick off it's, I've left it in play. Okay, I'll see you at kick-off, see what happens. Okay, we just kicked off. Um... Managed to get matched, we're up to a tenner. Uh, nothing much happening in match, to be honest. So, I'm going to try and sneak. Quick hundred in here. I normally play one above, but uh, liquid is not brilliant, so. We've got. Um, might find it might come down a bit quicker than normal. And uh, if I stick it in there, it might not get matched. Okay. Taking a bit of a risk, but even though they've got Coventry down as uh, favourites on this, uh, Sheffield United could always uh, be a tighter match than what I think people think it's going to be. So if a goal goes in, I don't think uh, the draw's going to go out too much. A nice chunk of it gone there. Okay, uh, the idea is to get this up to 30 and more, more so if possible. So I'm going to just keep nipping in and out of here with hundreds. Um, I did, like I said before in some of the other videos, really wants to be up here, but liquidity is a bit low in this, so uh, not as much of a risk of going in on what it's actually at and, and dropping down. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, 1 0. I'd managed to get this to uh, 15. So, not too bad. Uh, correct scores should be going on our side. be doing now it's just hanging in there and what we're going to be doing is getting onto the uh, one nil see if we can get a bit on there and um, just leave we'll start scalping that in a bit we'll give us a bit more to cover but uh, see how much goes at the moment uh, that's why I stayed from away from the uh, over 3.5 lay If you're on it, if you are trading on it, I suggest you double dip it, get in there when that price gets low and uh, see if you can get yourself out of it. But, uh, as you can see, I didn't go on it this time, I just didn't fancy it. Okay, so we want to bring the 1-0 up on the correct scores. When I can find it, 1-0. 
Okay, let's see if we can scalp a bit on here. You only want to be using something like ten pound. It's quite high, is that? With the price being so high, you want to be. Uh, Don't believe somebody's just stuck that in there. Anyway, never mind. So as you can see, um, luckily I didn't get caught scalping. Uh, just managed to get in and out and got it up to 15. So that, that gives us a bit of money to play with. But I'm going to be getting back in there in a bit. But for now, you want to be scalping the uh, correct score of 1-0. Let's see if you can get that into a nice little green position as well. For each, If you're using a tenner for each tick you manage to get, um, you're going to get um, a fiver. Okay, I'll try. And I'll come back when hopefully I've got that up. Okay, guys, as you can see, I managed to get the uh, one nil up to thirty-seven pound, which covers us uh, thirty. We've got stuck in uh, the correct score. Uh, match odds, obviously, we still got the draw there. Sorry, I just clicked on the long one. That's my uh, my lay for uh, later on. You want to be laying Green Bay Packers if you're on that one. Um, over under 2.5 goals, it would have been. Uh, I went mean, wrong one there, actually, to be honest. Didn't change that one. If it stays at 1 0, I'm going to take a, take a lay of the uh, over under 2.5 goals if it's, um, if it's low enough. As you can see, so we're on the draw, we've still got something we one apiece. We're sitting really nice. What we could do is the Sheffield United to equalise. See what this under is trading on at the moment. Yeah, we need that to come down a bit more. Which, as long as there's not, not another goal at the second half, which, to be honest, I, I don't really want another goal. If there's going to be a goal, we could do a Sheffield United score in it. Okay, so correct scores, you can see. You can take a bit of profit if you wanted now. 10, 11 pound. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some more goals this in this. Hopefully in second half. I don't want any just yet, but if we do, Sheffield United. Okay, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, 2-0 to Coventry. That's ah, not very nice. Spoiling my strategy. Um, maybe even three. Oof. Okay, so you could scratch out of this now. And uh, we'd have the draw on our side, so it depends how you want to play it. You know, this, but uh, I did expect some goals to just come a bit quicker than what I wanted them to do. But uh, I'm still going to stop in here. But for you with a weaker position, or sometimes I feel like it, then uh, you could just scratch out with no, no particular loss. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, we're already covered. We covered on the two ones. We covered on the two pieces. Um, we're two nil, obviously. We're not covered on at the moment, which is what it is. You probably find markets quite high. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, if it stayed as it is, we'll be uh, losing a bit. So, like I say, you could trade out of it or try and scalp a, a bit of this. Okay. What I'm going to do is uh, bit, do a bit of risk taking instead of playing with the tens I've just been doing. I just want to get this into a, a level position. So I'm just going to scout with 40 here as quick as I can to get this to uh, either level or just a small profit. And uh, hope for a second half comeback by Sheffield United to get us onto that 2 1 score line. And uh, we've got, remember, we've got the draw on our side as well. Okay, I'll come back to you when I've managed to uh, scalp that. I did manage to get this £35 on the 1-0, uh, but uh, then they went and scored and spoiled that. <laughs> but that's how it goes. Traders, mate. Traders game. Right. Um, nearly half time. Managed to get uh, the 2-0 to a uh, £6, just in and out with a few 40s. So the main risk of the moment is 30. You could take the £10 profit. Uh, if it goes to 3 0, uh, we sort of snook it a bit. What we're hoping for is a Sheffield United comeback or scratch out now. Um, just hoping Sheffield United can hang on till half time. 
and come out with uh, a bit more gusto I think is the word it's like watching paint dries this game but uh, see how we go see what I can uh, look at half time see if there's a possibility of uh, covering yourself in, in the 3-0 well there is and go for any unquarter but at four at the moment uh, I think I'll stay away from that one okay catch me at second half hopefully there's no more goals before then okay Sheffield United scoring it's not ideal no sorry Sheffield United Coventry scoring again um, it's not ideal but be but because of the price it's going to be so early on same again bit of a risk but uh, what we're going to do is uh, try and get this to green and then scratch out if we can remember three ones on our side it's just if it goes to 4-0 then uh, we're going to lose as 40 and the overall picture that's not a bad deal well they say so scalping and out of here this will come down quicker than what you think it's going to do um, how many minutes we're on yet yeah. so you want to be getting in and out of these especially when there's some nice gaps like this and obviously uh, match odds I don't think we're going to get anything out at draw now unless Jeff United decide to start playing some football which they haven't done yet ok so what I'm going to do is in and out of the uh, correct score of 3-0 until I can get this into a, a green position instead of the nasty red I'm stuck in at the moment well it's, it's not that bad but you know what I mean a green's a green so we'll try and get out with the green instead of being stuck with uh, some nasty amount in there ok I managed to get matched Okay, hopefully I'll get you squared up and I'll come back to you. Okay, as you can see I've managed to get it to uh, a nice green. I'm not saying a nice green, but a, a green on a, a scratch trade there. It'd be nice if Sheffield United went on to score. Um, what you want to do is you could take the £1.51 loss. Right, which is not bad. Um, oh, just hang on a bit longer and uh, that should come down to a nice green. But you will find this this is going to start shooting down the longer this goes on now. It's uh, Coventry have no need to go out and try and score another one. Uh, match odds obviously we're not looking very good. But uh, Okay if I can get that one matched should be in a nice green position sorry about that that's me yeah for anybody trading later tonight I'll sign later it's not so far off 41 minutes uh, lead green bay packers as you can see I'm in a nice position already hopefully we're going to get a nice bit of green out of that one anyway back to the matters at hand and as you can see we're now in a green position <coughs> excuse me so ideally scratch out or out for a Sheffield United goal. Uh, you're back to the norm, the, the risk that we had originally which was £30 if it went to 4-0. Uh, you could probably lay some of this off if it gets a bit, if you're prepared to stay, excuse me, if you're prepared to stay in a bit longer. Um, which would drop us down to a £10 risk. Somewhere about there and give us a 20 pound risk to 104 if Sheffield United went went on to score a goal depends which way you want to play it uh, I'm going to leave it in a bit longer not much longer and uh, see if I can get out with the green <laughs> not a great day but uh, not a losing day ok Nice one, Chef United score, bit of luck, judgment, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we can take a. You don't want to be staying in much longer now. Just let it settle down, see what you can get out of it. Um, it won't make much difference on match odds. 
obviously <laughs> a bit nearer to draw, but uh, not going to do anything on it. But we've got a nice little three bet hanging in there. And so what we're going to be doing now is see what we can get out of this correct score. This will as they start trading and going for positions just let it settle down it's worth hanging in that minute or two we might end up with a nice 20 pound out of it and Sheffield so United nearly scored again which would have been uh, not very good well we'd have lost 30 but we'd have been uh, lo looking a bit better on the draw market as you can see there's a lot of gaps here it's because there's not a lot of liquidity in this game, but uh, okay, it's working out for us at the moment. I'm just going to hang on to try and get £20 of it. You don't do. Ideally, what you should do is trade out. This is a bit of gambling in me hanging on a bit. Just need these to start dropping, which they are doing nicely. It's going to meet its match around here somewhere. So it might be worth taking that. Just. Hang on a second or so, nothing much happening on the pitch. As you can see, there's quite a bit of map down here because they're, they're all trying to get into the positions. There we go, it's levelled itself out. Um, it's probably as well taking the £17. Let's see what happens here in a minute. A couple of gaps here, we only need a couple of quick big bets on there. And we could be into the 20 quid mark. In fact, we should should drop nicely now about this. This is a judgment call now. It's entirely up to you, but my advice would be take what's there while it's on offer. I'm just being a bit greedy. There's too much down here, so... I'm going to take what's there, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take the seventeen pound thirty profit. We got there in end. Sometimes it is just a case of hanging on. Uh, sometimes it's not. It's it. You just got to work out when you want to trade out. Okay, I don't know what happened there. We didn't get much, so just have a look. Okay. Don't know what happened there to be honest, so right, it, there we go. Okay, leaving itself out, so we're on 20, 16. So if it stays, it is we'll get 20 and 16 pounds, as you can see down here on any other scores. And we'll just give you it on the grid view. There we go. Nice bit of green, happy days in the end. Not a great match to trade, but it's a trade and it's a winning trade. Hope to see you on the next one. Keep it green, guys.